In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own AI image upscaler. Let's just get straight into the video. We're going to be using something called Dream Studio API. So go on Google, type in Dream Studio API. Now, even if you don't know how to code, just watch this video. I'm going to go through everything. When you're on this page, click on REST API on the left, and then you can do Control F and you can type in upscale. This will take you to the image to image upscale part of the API. Let's zoom out a little bit and we basically have everything we need to create an image upscaler right here, okay? What we really need is this information on the right, which is basically the way to make a Python script. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this information here for the image to image upscaler and we're gonna go obviously to our friend ChatGPT. Go to ChatGPT4 and we're going to say something like, please create me a Python script that will upscale my images for me using Dream Studio API. And then we'll just paste the information that we just copied right here. And this should make us a nice, simple little uh, Python script, which is going to create us everything. As you can see, it's currently doing that. Uh, so what we need here is we need an API key. So if we go back on here, what I want you to do instead actually is go to beta dreamstudio.ai slash account and then create yourself an API key and then press copy. So I'm going to copy it right here. I will be deleting this at the end of the video. So please do not try to um, take my API key. Now we need something called Visual Studio Code. You will also need Python. So just go to python.org and download the latest version and install it. You will also need pip. Um, so just uh, install PIP, which is Python packaging something. I don't actually know what it stands for. Uh, yeah, just install this because we, we need it basically. Once you have Visual Studio Code, Python and pip, open up Visual Studio Code on your computer. Okay, once here, click on File and click Open Folder and then right click somewhere and press new and make a new folder. And we'll just call this KDS for some reason. Just a random three letters that I just randomly pressed. KDS does not mean anything. Okay, now right click here, new file and type in uh, something like run.py, okay? So this is now where our Python script will go. So now let's go back to ChatGPT, it should be done by now. Press copy code, press control S, and then let's grab our API code and we need to see where to put this. So API key. Okay, so right now what it's doing is it's using os.getm, but I don't actually want it to do it like that. So what I'm gonna say is, can you just let me hard code the secret key, please? It's going to say hard coding, blah, 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 is not a good thing, but I don't really care. So this will now give us a the, basically the ability to hard code the API key. Uh, you can put that in the original prompt if you want. So when you're writing the original prompt, instead of saying, please create me a Python script, blah, 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 say the same thing, but say, allow me to hard code the secret key. That'll just make it a little bit easier for people who don't know anything about coding. So now when I press control V, it says right here, your actual API key here. So all I need to do is put my API key from before. So we'll copy this and we'll do control V. Okay, so this should now work. However, we need an image. So let's pretend that I don't know what I'm doing with coding. So I'm gonna say, where do I add my image and what does the image file name have to be? Can you make it so the script reads the same directory for images and upscales any images? Is that possible? We shall see. Okay, perfect. So what this script is now gonna do, which is what I wanted to do, is it's just gonna look for any PNG images, okay? So we'll use this script instead, just because I, I think this is a little bit cooler. I think this is just a bit more useful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need an image example. Okay, so fortunately for me, because I've been practicing a lot on this recently, I have this example right here created by Stable Diffusion. 
If you want to know how I'm creating my images, that's a different video. Feel free to watch the last few videos that I've made. However, this should now upscale this image. So let's click on Terminal, New Terminal. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure we're in the directory. So this is KDS, and you can see KDS. So we are in the right directory. Then you need to write Python run.py and hit enter. Sometimes this isn't going to work the first time. So it says incorrect API key provided. Okay, so I'm actually glad it didn't work first time because now I can show you how I basically troubleshoot things. So the error here is saying that it, the, it's wrong, the secret key, even though I, it's not wrong. So probably the way that the secret key is being given is wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the error message and I'm going to give the code and we'll see what it says. So the error message suggests that the API key provided is incorrect or invalid. Make sure you have the correct API key. If you're still getting an error, it's possible the API endpoint has changed or the API does not recognize the engine ID uh, Ergun V1. So let's see if this is actually what the, yeah, it is. So let's see, for example, if the host is correct, that could be what the problem is. No. Everything is correct here, which is very strange. Oh, okay. For some reason, the secret key was just wrong. Uh, I have no idea how that happened. So now let's do Python run.py and it should work. It has worked, perfect. I don't know what happened with the secret key. So let's have a little look here. This is the unscaled image. And this is the upscaled image. It's worked perfectly. So what can we take from this? You can literally put all of your PNG images here and you can upscale them all in two seconds, okay? That's the end of this video. I really wanted to just make this video because I, I'm just finding this programming stuff so, so interesting. I'll leave this in the in a paste bin if people want it. But honestly, just go and make your own, guys. It's that simple. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Some more content and peace out.